Peggy 18. Today I have a surprise for you, as we said, and this surprise is a new IP in a new genre, and this game couldn't wait till the end of the show. This game is about um, the, the, the sort of love of combat and the love of martial combat in particular. Um, I have always believed, I have this deep belief actually, that combat is an art form. It's a brand new experience where you will finally live the true emotion of being behind a weapons in a close quarter combat. Knight? Are you a Viking? Are you a Samurai? And let you discover what your inner warrior is like, because that's the whole purpose. Um, when, a, when, a, when a person picks up a weapon, right, they become a warrior, right? So we want to create that experience in a video game context. When I say Knight, Viking, or Samurai, I'm not asking you what your favorite is. I'm asking you what you value. People who answer Samurai tend to value skill, mastery, honor, right? People who value Vikings tend to value freedom and expression and enthusiasm and celebration, right? And people who choose knights tend to value culture and defense and sort of nobility and like the sort of codes, that sort of stuff, right? So it really is this statement about what do you believe in, right? Which is just incredibly powerful. So that's the basis of the whole thing. First, we had a team. We had a very strong team, um, the Fox team, who, uh, who had been building some you know, experience on, uh, on fighting systems and, and fighting game. And, uh, and, then, and then we got Jason Vandenberg. Jason had this, this game within himself. Everything started three years ago now. Uh, it's going fast uh, when I met Jason. Uh, and at, at the time he was talking to me about the game that he dreamed to, to, to produce and he, he was like, but I didn't find a team to do it. And I was like, okay, maybe I know a team that can achieve it. I was at the time with a, a group of around 12 developers and we sat with Jason and we explored that idea. And uh, from that 12 core people, we had another 12 to work on the, on the pipelines. And you can see now with uh, three years later, we're more than 150 people are continually building over that foundations, but the foundation is pure. We have a lot of veterans who came back either to Ubisoft or in production to work on that game. I, for myself, was presented that project over two years ago by Jason when they were recruiting a brand director for the game because I was helping out for the recruitment. And halfway through, I told the guy, you can go now, I'm gonna take the job. At the time I was joking, but six months later I was joining the team. So it's very diverse, but it's passion unites us. The entire focus of the development on this one has been built around a breakthrough in the control scheme. And the way that it works is very simple. You just have your left stick drives your character around, then you lock on with a Zelda style lock on the trigger, and then when you lock on, your right stick gives you your control of your stances. Right, left, and top stances, and that actually moves the position of your sword. We just want you to have the emotions of combat and feel like you are really holding that weapon and that you're really dueling against the other person. The most important thing to accomplish there is to get you looking at your enemy's stance and be thinking about what they're doing and trying to guess and anticipating what they're doing. These mechanics make that happen. What is really unique about For Honor is that core fighting experience. It's not a broader experience, it's not button mashing, it's not also a fighter experience where you have to memorize all the possible combos and moves of your opponent. It's something really in between. It's something that feels and play really close to the kind of emotion that you will have if you're actually fighting. There, there is no game like that. So it, it's not like we are doing another fighting game. It, it's like we are creating something from scratch that people don't expect. 
But suddenly, as soon as, as they put their hands on the pad, they say, this is the game I always wanted to play, but I, I couldn't imagine it. I couldn't, I couldn't think of that game before. Ubisoft has finally cracked sword fighting. That's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see this is the sword fighting game we've always wanted. Because I think that's what we set out to build.